Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition. We are picking up in this ruin here. Gonna go and check a few places out. Oh no! What would you have More drow fights, and then we're gonna head to the surface, hopefully, at some point. I'm just finishing mop helping him finish mopping his drow up. So I can pick up a few things, hopefully. It's going to be an interesting little one. Finally getting to see sunlight again. Although, realistically speaking, I didn't spend that long in the Underdark because I didn't actually rest. But maybe half a dozen times. Flee this place lest you fall, fall as a casualty of circumstance. Alright, yeah, I know. Here, let's check these corpses out. Because for some reason I can get this stuff. Yes. I think this is it all drow be. chain, though. That's the issue. Like, in that container, there's drow shit. Mind your Even though, technically speaking... Jacques like, I could just pick it up off the ground. Dead. Well, we'll find out. Don't think there's anything up there. It just leaves one more door left. Right here. And I'm out. I think, right? Yep. You must gather your party I am before out. Venturing forth. And on to the surface. As much as you have traveled, New chapter. these last few feet to the surface have seen the longest trek by far. Yeah, no shit, Your relief so at that seeing the light of the sky is palpable. Even though you are not really fleeing the black of the Underdark, rather, the constant treachery. Unfortunately, even though the setting has changed, your immediate constant future treachery? I didn't still notice looks to be treachery. far from peaceful. This area Anything has more been than a usual, at least. for many recent battles. And right. judging from the faces of the beleaguered elven soldiers that now approach, so I'm being faced may be more by elven come. soldiers. We done. We shall never surrender the heart. I speak the common tongue that you may hear and be warned. All that breach the surface will be fought back. Wait, you you are no drow, but you travel with one among you. Are you collaborators? Have you betrayed us all to the darkness below? Viconia is a rogue drow and has fought as hard as I. Now we seek Arenicus. You know of Arenicus? You will speak with Ellen immediately. He will determine your relationship with this fiend. Alright, um... By all means, if this Ellen can... If this Elhan... Ellen... <laughs> can tell me of Arenicus, I am very eager to meet him. Your fate will be decided shortly. You will remain under guard until Ellen seeks you. Make no move, and you will be watched closely. Yeah, I should have should have given you the option to refer to Ellen as a her, because <laughs> Ellen. Who is Ellen? <laughs> and why does she want to be? <laughs> All right. The Seldarin watch over us. Victory shall be welcome. ours this day. Yes, welcome. I'll have you know that I do not trust you. I have no reason to trust you. I do not feel that I have to trust you. No doubt the same applies from your perspective. So with that admission out of the way, are you going to tell me what this is about? I don't care about this. I am searching for Jean Arenicus and his sister Bodhi. I see, you mentioned some very interesting names. Names you could not know unless you were enemies of our enemies or their friends. I am undecided. Ellen will see to you. He will make sure that you are comfortable and that you reveal what you must of yourself. He is experienced and... And he has knowledge of the enemy. Mind that you obey him. Regardless of your intent, if you attack any of my elves here, I will have you killed on the spot. We are legion, rest assured. And all I see all I see when somebody says, Oh, we're legion is like well, just I nothing but experience points racking up. Yes, yes. Pleasantry aside, what is it that you want? You will mourn the loss of these pleasantries very soon. I am not here to pamper you. I shall keep this brief, as I have little time to waste on you. A few questions are all I need regardless. Alright. This is all a waste of time. Arenicus remains free while I am stuck here. 
I was told that perhaps you might know something of that person, and I am very interested in learning exactly what. I will ask some things of you, and you will speak what you know. My sages will detect any falsehood. They are very good at that sort of thing. They will pay, pay close attention to your next statement, especially since you are already damned for having a drow traveling with you. Now then, something simple and direct to begin with. You emerged from the home of the drow. Were you fleeing, or are you in league with them? Um... I left them bloodied and battered. I did not flee. Truth. I concur. Truth. A truth. Well, a good start. You are currently not an ally of the drow. This tells me nothing of your motivations, though. Let us continue. A name, then, that you may know of something. Arenicus. Do you know of him? Of course. He is the reason that I have come all my way. All right. I battled my, black, my way through the Underdark seeking his black heart. Yes, I know him. Absolute truth. No doubt at all on both answers. Well, that is somewhat reassuring. Your bloodlust certainly illustrates your true feelings about him. This has put me more at ease. Whatever manner of creature you are, we are on the same side in this instance, at least. Are we done, then? Okay. No offense, but I have things I must do. You are certainly less of a threat than I first imagined, but do not think that you are welcome yet. This area is still at risk, and I will not take chances. Especially since there is still a matter of the vampire and the drow you travel with. I will return to them later, rest assured. For now, I will apprise you of, your, of the situation. You will realize why travel in this area is to be restricted. You might have received a warmer welcome, but Irenicus has triggered the strongest of emotions where he has trod. He has stepped beyond all bounds of decency, and our very city is under the weight of his thumb. Sultan Esselar is simply gone. One of the greatest elven cities of the age, and it disappeared right in front of your eyes. Ha! I find that difficult to believe. It has only been concealed, but we cannot penetrate the magics that have hidden it. We are forced to remain here, pestered by drow while supplies falter. Drow that was incited by, that were incited by Arenicus and the bargains he made in the Underdark. Truth. Yes, he knows much of this. It would seem your travels have given you quite a bit of insight into the plans of Arenicus has made. I wonder if you might be of service to us. I will. I wonder if you will stop your sages examining every word I'll say. It's annoying. You obviously bear no love for Arenicus, making you the enemy of our enemy. Classically speaking, this might make you our friend. Even if you are not, you cannot reach Arenicus without helping us. He is untouchable, save for one possibility. Within the temple was an artifact of great power, the Rin Lanthorn. It is an ancient lantern, etched with the oldest of runes. The lanthorn is attuned to the elven nation, and no magic can, bear its return, can bar its return to elven lands. We could simply walk to Sulandesilar if we had possession of it. Someone stole the relic while the temple fell to the drow. Obviously, it was a servant of Arenicus, capitalizing on the chaos of the battle. We might... We might not have been able to be able to return to determine where the thief went, despite the be best efforts of our sages. It makes me think that the lanthorn is no longer in Elven territory. It must have been Bodhi, Bodhi. Only she would have been trusted with such a thing. Truth. Stop that already. <laughs> Bodhi. Hmm. You may know more than we about this situation after all. I propose we exchange our services. I propose you volunteer as much information as you have taken from me. I cannot say more than I have. Perhaps if I had access to the city, I would have insight. But as it stands, I am in the same situation you are. The attack came without warning, both in the mind of a human we did not know. Born in the mind of a human we did not know. This was not in the realm of possibility, and it remains as such. He has dealt with Drow, defiled our temple, and violated our city. His name is to be spit and spoken of as rarely as possible. He is all the elves are not. If you know how to find the treacherous servant of this fiend, I suggest that you do it. You seek Arenicus, we seek Arenicus. To help us is to help yourself. Find the Lanthorn. Seek outside elven lands in whatever location you think an important servant of, Ar servant of Arenicus would be. Only then will we reach this man. Alright, I need supplies, and it might, I might need help facing Bodhi. We cannot march on human territory. As great as the, our problems are, they would only get worse if we appeared to be sending agents into the cities of Alm. This deal just gets better and better. We march to our doom while they stay here. You have traveled extensively. Return to the groups you have already encountered and ask their aid. I am sure that you will find some among them to help you. 
They need not know the nature of this emergency, only that a great evil must be routed. The, the less they know of the shame brought by Arenicus, the better. Can you help with special supplies? Holy water and stakes come to mind. I have such things. The water is exceptionally potent and will prove effective against those that wrong the temple. The wrath of the Celadrine is in each vial. I had to drop your item ah. on the ground. I can carry no more. It sounds as though you already know the nature of the creature you must find. Your service is now doubly appreciated. Uh, I would... Um... Alright. Before I go, what did you say about shame? What shame has Arenicus caused you? It is not your concern. His deeds will be apparent when we reach him. Until then, you should begin your task. I appreciate being out from under your boot heel. We have talked long. I will make sure the guards know you are free to come and go. Unfortunately, I must bring a final point of contention. I refer, of course, to the drow and the vampire. They cannot accompany you. I owe RPG Crawler my life. I will not betray him, nor your quest. Truth. Yes, there is malice in our heart, but it is not directed at us. Are we finished, then? There is also the master of the drow. I was wondering when you would give voice to the looks you have been giving me, Olive. Poor Ellen, hating me so. You are on unhealthy risk. I will not allow it. Cannot do this without the group I am familiar with. She must go with me. Very well. There is one way that I will allow her to partake in our plans. She must first swell loyalty to you and your cause, RPG Crawler. And if you believe that, you'll believe anything. Bah, such a statement is unnecessary. I am loyal, but if it will help your doubts, I do so swear my oath, my loyalty to this cause. And she must agree to a geist, that is the only way. Your distrust is such that you require magical bonds to ensure I commit no treachery? I wonder if the drow are the only elves with the darkened hearts. Such talk does not endear me to you. Do you agree, or do you not? Very well, have your spells cast and secure my will to the task. I imagine spitting on you for the indignity will be restricted as well. A pity. With the casting of the spell, all my doubt is removed. Viconia, you are bound to the task, and I fear no treachery. Let death be the threat if I am wrong. RPG Crawler, I wish you in, well in your goals. All sold in SLR depend on your success. Yeah, before I get bumped out, I need to grab some shit off the ground. Got some more stakes. Did I have a stack of stakes somewhere? I think I used them all. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything else on the ground. There's the entrance to the Underdark. There's Elhen's tent. I will take care of this. Gonna go ahead and av avoid. Uh, gonna go ahead and let's let's uncover this area real quick. I doubt that I'm gonna find anything of interest in here, but it won't hurt. These are the tents of the Elven War Party. Knowledge of the Cold Blasphemy and the Drow. Okay, let's go ahead and cru cruise through here. What the hell is this map like? Can I come over here? So far, nothing new. Let me quick save the game real quick. <sighs> There's the edge of the map. Let's uh, cruise down here then. I think there's the entrance to the Underdark around here somewhere, right? I'm behind it. I'm actually behind it. Oh my god. Various moose. The rest of my party is lagging behind. <laughs> okay. This is not that bad. You know, their palisade of thorns and shit is, uh, got all kinds of gaps in it. That's funny. I think that's about this area. This area is done searched. There's nothing really to, to really be concerned about here. Let's head on out. Now, of course, Bodhi's going to be in the graveyard district, I believe, but let's, uh, let's cruise around and finish up some business beforehand. I got to check on my guild real quick. There's the Underdark. Here's where I'm at. There's Watcher's Keep I need to go to. Probably, I'm probably going to do the... What I'm going to do is I'm going to set the Throne of Ball, Ball content into a separate kind of playlist and start, like, Throne of Ball 1, Throne of Ball 2. And I will cover Watcher's Keep and Throne of Ball. Uh, small Teeth Pass. I don't know what's in the Small Teeth, pa teeth Pass. I don't want to go to the graveyard yet. Let's uh, just hit the docks and then we'll hit the Walking's Promenade. 
to you deal with like various equipment. Are you sure you know where you left Dritz, I thought I killed your ass. Blast it, boy. I may be old, but me memory has not left me head just yet. And we would not even have to look at it had Wolfgar not knocked it out of me hand. I did no such thing, dwarf. But you did, me boy. You're not you're not looking when you were flying about in a battle, and I was I were too distracted by the troll to run after it. And then I forgot that you even did it after. Well, of course, we'd be trying to help you find it, but all Drist was wondering was... He'd be wondering whether I've the wit left... Wit, have a wit left in me head, girl. And I... I tell you we'll have me... I tell you we'll find me hammer soon enough. I'll not leave it for goblins to steal. Humph. <laughs> um, be that as it may, Brunor. Drist, we've got company. Maybe they found your pretty little hammer, Brunor. Humph. Adventurers, eh? I like the look of some of their equipment, RPG crawler. Let's kill them. One more comment on me hammer, Rumble Belly, and you'll be the first it squishes when it gets back. When I get it back, peace, my friends. I need to. I, I wish I had like this really douchebaggy voice to use for Duritz, because he is kind of peace, my friends. There's no need for us to fight over this. Ho there, travelers! I am Duritz Dorden, most recently of the Ten Towns. Are you friend or foe? Didn't I kill you? I have heard of you. In fact, I killed you. I'm a friend, Dritz. I have heard of you. I cannot say the same, but you are not violent. I'll not push the matter. Tell me, have you perhaps seen a... a... pink warhammer in the vicinity? Blast ye, Dritz. Me hammer be not pink. Well, you have to admit, Brunar, since Sire, since Siren cast that enchantment on it, it has been going a little on the pinkish side. It be red. Red, I tell ya. Call it pink again, halfling, and you'll have yourself a one-way ticket to the abyss. I've been there. It was nothing special. Red, then. Might you have seen something like it, stranger? Um, no, I haven't. Moradin's breath. It must be around here somewhere. We'll look for it a while longer, then, Bruno. I have no fear. We were not expected back in the Ten Towns for a fortnight yet. Tell me, though, stranger. Have we met before? I feel as though your face is familiar, but I cannot attach a time or a, pl a time or place to it. Should I know you? I killed you here <laughs> at Fowler's Gate last time we met. It's a shame you didn't state it. Actually, the last time we met, I attacked you near Baldur's Gate. That was you? You ambushed me and stole my equipment, as I recall. It took a long time to track down my swords. I have a question, then, if that was truly you. Why did you attack me, Halfling? Are you truly a simple bandit, greedy, and nothing, and nothing more? If that is the case, I shall be disappointed. Uh... Alright. <laughs> I killed you because I wanted to, fool, and I intend to do so. I don't think I'm going to... I don't want to trigger that, necessarily. Um, I attacked you because you are a drow, and, and I didn't want to wait for you to attack me once you were done with the gnolls. Ah, so you attacked me because of the reputation of my people. Why, then, do you have a drow amongst your number? I did not see you attacking this one. Viconia is with me because I love her. She is unique amongst the drow, and I trust her implicitly. Aw, that's so cute. Um, Viconia is an outcast, but proven trustworthy. I am careful, though. She might kill me if it suited her. So she is drow, but you do not butcher her. How, then, was I deserving? I have abandoned my people. You will find me much different even, even than your drow friend. I would have done the same as RPG Crawler if you were so weak as to be easily overcome. Your pontificating means nothing, fool. Aye, Drist Dorden is an honorable warrior and has done many great things. Yes, I saw our friend. You quarrel with him? With him, you quarrel with us. Not all things are so absolute, good man. In my days, I've seen enough strangeness to make a halfling's fur fall right off his feet. Wolfgar and Regis are my friends, and they mean well, but they are right in that I fight for what is right and good. Can you claim the same, halfling? No, not really. I have no intention of making such a claim about myself. Not at all. I fight for myself and whatever reasons I prefer. Good is irrelevant. Is it? I am disturbed to see such evil embraced so openly. You do not act with hostility, but I wonder how many others you have treated as you have myself. But I am not here to exact vengeance. I do, however, think that you need to be taught a lesson. The exact nature of which, however, puzzles me. Make him get down on his knees, Dritz. Make him apologize. Make him say he's sorry. Ha, huh, fair enough, Regis. Perhaps you are right. If this evil man can swallow, swallow his pride enough to apologize on his knees, then I shall be satisfied. Ugh. 
Ha, I does like it, I does. You there, halfling, I suggest you get down on your knees quickly and spill your apology to our friend Ditrit. Come now, I won't give you long to do it. I apologize to the drow, and I mean it, but I will not abase myself before anyone. There we go. It's enough for me, Bruno, my friend. You may back away from the man. So our dealings are done, then. Continue your travels, halfling, and I shall return to the ten towns. If I have any more of you, however, we shall meet again. Come then, my friends. Let's be off. Uh, hold on, Driss. I have a proposal for you, if you are the hero you say you are. There is no proposal you might have, halfling, that I would be interested in hearing. If you are more trustworthy, perhaps, but not today. Ah, I can't save it this time. You're gonna save and quick and uh, quick save and attack him. You are going it will be done. Oh, you know what? Uh, what's her face needs her cloak on. My bad. The real question is, could I have taken Dritz out? Would it be worth redoing just so I could have another killing Dritz uh, episode? The problem is this: Dritz gears sucks. I mean, it flat out sucks. At least it does in the books. Compared to what I've got now, it's not really worth it. A lot of it is like good aligned only. I don't know about the gear about that his party has, though. I guess we're just going to continue on our way. Uh, docks first, and then Joaquin's promenade. Easily. Checking on my, uh, on my guild. Aha! It is the wielder, the thief, and the defiler, all in one being. Strange. I thought there would be three. You there, have you no twin brothers? What do you want, Kith Yankee? A question with a question. I see his mind is far deeper than I expected. Layers and layers of duplicity and deceit. I must be subtle with this one. Perhaps I should start again before he gets suspicious. Hmm, yes, I think this would be best. And you there, human man, my freedom from limbo has a price. I must track down the thief of one of our most holy of holies. You don't mean the silver blade, do you? Ah, you know that you know what it's called? I trained three years as a wild mage before they let me in on that one. My mentor learned to grunt. Training was a bitch. So now, I've been very patient because you are a lesser being. I'm trying not to overwhelm you with my psionics just by accident. See how nice I am? So hand over the silver sword blade and we'll all be happy. Well, maybe you won't be happy, but you won't be dead and that's got to be better, right? So are you going to hand over the sacred blade or not? No, I will not. It's mine now. I did say I was a wild mage, right? If I end up having to cast a spell here, I won't be held responsible for it. So I hand over the blade, or do I start casting? Do your worst. Yeesh, I wouldn't say that. My worst can be pretty bad. Let's get this guy down. Let's try to get this guy down, at least. Wait, where did he go? Wait. Oh, he's down here. There's a gish. And there's a warlock. And there's Kruin. What the hell, man? This is chaotic. Well, I took one of them down. Okay, spell protection's removed. This guy's barely injured. Let's, let's poison our weapons and shit. And um, switch to Slashlegal Fury. Poison that. What would you have me do? Yes. RPG crawler, poison that. And just get this guy some poison. Yeah, there we go. I will listen. And then this. This one down here. Somebody got this. What the hell? Did somebody just go invisible? Yeah. What the hell? Random people attacking you. These guys must have been just standing on the side. Captain and Knight. Wait, are these guards? Yeah, these are guards. A knight and a captain just randomly attacked me. Alright. So what do we got here? We got... Um, oh, everybody's full. Let's pull all these potions up. And let's pull the plate up, and I'll throw the plate in my bag. 
Anti-Paladin? Wait a minute. An Anti-Paladin just monsters are about. Where's the Anti-Paladin that just poisoned his blade? There's more... Oh, these are all uh, Githyanki. They're not guards, they're Githyanki. Get this Paladin down. Okay, Doran, you move. And wait, no, not that. Whoops. Let's go ahead and just take this guy down. He's near death. Ah, no. Okay, for a moment there, I thought uh, I thought he was going to pop out and get going. On my honor. I will carry no medal. You may scrounge for what Let's pull these potions up. I will carry no All right, let's see. Um, Joster is here. Good to see you like my Hail, RPG crawler. It's time. Renal awaits your tribute. Now then, uh, how much gold? 900? Hard payment to swallow, but I will pay it nonetheless. There's your 900. It is time to see how your, see how your thieves have functioned. Their last set of instructions. Uh, hands was captured. Yes, I'll, I'll not have him stuck behind bars. That's a thousand in the hole. Made a fair profit. Um, 700 in the hole. Um, 200 in the hole. 300 positive. 450 positive. I uh, will modify their instructions. Hands, what is he currently up to? Um, what's he up to? I want as high as return as possible. Keep to groups. Go for the better targets. Alright. Um, I'll leave everything, everyone else just the way they are. What would you have me do? A little bit of a profit. Then, Very well. Much. Enough to pay the bills. I will enjoy this. Alright. Cromwell. Alright, what sorts of things do you need to, in order to make something? Real scales and husks. Do I have anything that could forge into something then? Hmm, I couldn't rightly say. Let me take a look at your goods. Alright, now, what do we have here? You have the Hammer of Thunderbolts, Gauntlets of Ogre Power, Girdle of Frost Giant Strength, and a scroll with the Thunder Hammer's true name, Crom Fair. Tis a collection that would widen the eyes of the Soul Forger himself. I could create the Crom Fair for you, friend, if you have the interest. Um, what would that involve? Two things, 10,000 for the work, and without an apprentice, uh, that sounds fine. Let's do it. You're right, you're right. There you go, me friend. Use it well, and if it come, you comes across anything else of interest, he knows where to bring it. Crom Fair plus 5. Strength 25. Slays, stone golems, clay golems, ettins, and trolls. 2d4 plus 3 plus 5 electrical. And that is just badass. Starting to wear um, on me nerves. Do you have anything you could serve into some, ser forge into something? You've put part of a sword here. You have a hilt and a blade here for a long sword and a pommel gem with much of its power. I could forge it all into one mighty sword. That's fine. Seventy-five hundred. Let's do it. Well, there you go, me friend. Use it well. And if he comes across anything else of interest, he knows where to bring it. Now that was the um, the equalizer, I believe. No, that was the. Uh... What the hell is this? Okay, yeah, that's just a quest item. Um, that was the Equalizer. It's a long sword, immunity to charm and confusion, plus three weapon, but it does damage differently depending on what alignment you're facing. So I'm actually going to probably... Uh, I don't know, maybe in my offhand. Okay, anything else? A part of a bow looks like Gezen's work. What's involved with that? 7,500? That sounds fine. Well, there you go, my friend. Use it well, etc. Say that so many times. And this is the bow. What is this Gezen's bow? It's electrical resistance plus 20%. When no arrows are equipped, the bow fires plus 4 missiles that deal 2 piercing and a 1d8 electrical damage. It is a short bow. It's similar... To the one that I've got. Plus three arrows, so plus three to hit and deal 1d6 damage versus plus four arrows that do deal two piercing and 1d8 electrical. So I think that's actually just an upgrade for my current bow. And this bow is probably actually going to be an upgrade for my main here. 
which means that I can go ahead and pass um, pass everything kind of down. What else we got laying around? Um, this looks interesting. Give a shaft of what, what was once a powerful halberd. If you find a blade for it, I don't need it. Quite a mess you have here. Traveling for some time, eh? Hmm. What's this? Gith craftsmanship. Haven't seen this in over a century. Aye, you have the hilt and blade of a vorpal silver sword. If you're willing to risk the wrath of the Gith, I'm willing to put it back together for you. What would be involved in that? 7,500? That sounds fine. I hope I've got enough money to cover all this. I think I, I, think I do. And that one is one I'm actually probably going to use on Dorn. Because I think it's a two-handed sword that has just a flat-out 25% chance to kill people. So, um, yeah, it's going into Dorn's hands. Yeah, the silver sword. It's a plus three two-handed sword. 25 chance per hit that the target must save versus death at minus two. Go. Do I have anything else he can make? Alright, uh, nothing else can be used. And I missed the Blade of Wave because that was in the alternate thing where you talk to the captain and he takes you somewhere and you get ambushed by Sahuagin or something, whatever. It, there's a couple things in that area, I really didn't need them. Uh, let's head over to the Adventurer's Mark. Or, or you know what, let's stop at the Shadow Thieves. It will be done. Alright, here we go. Ah, RPG Crawler, you are here. This is most fortunate as I have just recently been dispatched to track you down and deliver a message. Well, this makes things much easier, doesn't it? As you are a member of the Shadow Thieves, the Shadow Master himself, Aaron Linvale, requests your presence as soon as possible in a matter of utmost urgency. I do not know the reason for his requested audience, sir, but he awaits you in the chambers below. Very well, I'll go see him now. So yeah, I was going the right way. You know, I just realized something. She doesn't have the strength to wield that flail either, but she's still got it equipped. So long as she doesn't die, she should be okay. Is there like a second belt of giant strength somewhere? Like I thought there was like a belt of of like uh, like a belt of hill giant strength somewhere. Hmm. I look forward to it. I probably what neglected to purchase do? it. I am Dorn yes. Here we go. Yes, yes, I, yes, yes, I know who you are, Dorn. I would like you to speak to RPG Call. Okay, yeah, okay. What is yeah, my yeah. I will do my best. Let me go ahead and talk to him. You have returned after all. And far sooner than I expected. After you left on Haverian's ship, I must admit that I half wondered if you would ever if you would reach the island, never mind return. You mean you planned for me not to return. Same and Havarian betrayed me, at your direction, I think. He betrayed you? I'm not surprised. Oh don't look at me like that. It was not because of me. Same and Haverian was not one of my men in the slightest. Aye, yet you took our gold quickly enough, with nary a warning to go with it. I'd be tempted to slit your throat and call us bloody even. I did tell you that few ships dare to visit Bryn Law, and you saw the type of person that haunts the place. Avarian was the best available, I'm afraid. If you wish, I could have the good captain tracked and punished for his misdeeds. I did not pay him extra to keep you safe. I did pay him extra to keep you safe, gold that was apparently was wasted. No, don't bother, Avarian is already dead. Is he? What a shame. The matter is settled, then. I need your help in, in dealing with Bodhi. You were successfully destroying her guild, of that I am glad, but the mistress herself seems to have survived. I don't know why she returned to Athcatla, but I can't take the risk that she will rebuild and take revenge on the Shadow Thieves. And myself, of course. I saw so the vampire bitches return to her nest. And you're more frightened than a white rabbit in the fall. Now go on, tell us something that will shock us, why don't you? I would like you to end her existence permanently. I won't fault you for your failure last time. Obviously, both of us underestimated the extent of her power. I intend to do it anyway. I came here looking for your assistance in attacking her. Very well. You are a member of the Shadow Thieves, and I would not ask such a dangerous mission without offering some assistance. Not this time, at any rate. I will have Arcanus and Yachiko and others, our best assassins, join you when you enter Bodhi's catacombs. I want to be sure Bodhi is forever out of my hair. Go to the catacombs when you're ready, then. Your assassins will meet you there. And, incidentally, good luck. Alright, so there's a couple more places I can poke around at for help. I um, will listen very well. I think, first of all, I'm going to cut to the Adventurer's Mart and try and sell some shit and or purchase some sh shit. So I will see you there. Alright, at Adventurer's Mart. 
All right then, you're a good customer and a successful adventurer. Would you rather my seek be my secret stock of item stock of items? For only fifty gold, I'll show you the wares. Uh, so he's got some additional stuff. So I'm gonna look at her, look at his usual wares, and basically sell all the stuff that I don't need, and then I'll take a look at his secrets, is his secret stash, so to speak. All right, I was able to say uh, sell quite a bit. I got back up into the six figures on money. So let's uh, take a look at his special wares. Now, this could be interesting because I don't know what this shit does. See if, if uh, Edwin needs any of these scrolls. I think he's actually got a protection from energy scroll that he hasn't memorized yet. Pure shield he doesn't have, though. Um, spell trap he doesn't have memorized. Spell strike he doesn't have. Powered kill he doesn't have. Energy drain, chain contingency, black blade of disaster. That's all stuff that Edwin needs. Does anybody have a... Yeah. So Viconia will buy and hold on to all that. Next, um, let's see, nothing, 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 don't need any of this, it's all plus two stuff, Crimson Chain plus two, or plus five, is basically AC5 chain, I think my Red Dragon stuff is better, the only thing that I'm looking at that might be useful is Trachy's plate plus five, it's AC minus two, but it's got this massive charisma and constitution penalty. So it's cursed armor. Helm of brilliance. Eh. It looks like it might be useful against like undead and shit. But nothing really worth it. I still think it was worth 50 gold to look at just for the scrolls. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm gonna have Edwin learn these spells real quick. What is it now? Because I think he's about into that area where he's towards the end game. Here. And what does that give him? It gives him 22 intelligence. Potion of mind focusing. Should bump it up to 24 or 25. Yeah, 25. There's max intelligence. So, light magic, spell strike written, spell trap written, pierce shield written, energy drain written, powered kill written, black blade of disaster. Um, whatever this is, chain contingency. And let's see if he's got anything in here that he needs. Nope. And the other one, I think he's got one spell that he doesn't have uh, doesn't have learned left that I actually own. Improved haste. He doesn't know that one. Or death fog. Protection from fire. He does need to learn quite a few spells. Spider spawn. He doesn't know. Protection from energy. Written. 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 And written. Does he have anything else in here that I missed? I think he, he knows all of the rest of this shit. Yeah, I'm seeing nothing else outlined in green. So Edwin's spell book is pretty full right now. I'm I'm very you satisfied with what he's got. I threw all the uh, all the adamantine ash on the ground because I don't need it. A waste of my talent. <sighs> well, this is this is running long. But it's been a lot of shopkeeping. I think that I've got one other place I can go. Very well. So let's try that real quick, and I will see you when I get there. Let's, actually, we're going to check out the high hall of the radiant heart. And see if we can't conscript any of these freaking paladins down here. And then we'll check out a temple or two, maybe. I don't know. The one I did all the service for was the Temple of Helm. And they're the ones that I, I just aggroed, so...
You must gather your party. Now I haven't been here forth. since that wedding that I butchered, so let's uh quick save before I head in. You must gather your party before venturing forth. So let's see. Kill them all and have done with it. You guys still aggro on me? Look upon you kindly. Greetings to you, RPG Crawler. In the name of the most noble order of the Radiant Heart, allow me to introduce myself. I am Squire Catheris, assistant to the prelate Wesselin. I am something of a follower of the tales I hear of your exploit, even though the prelate forgive, forbids it. I must warn you, however, you are not very welcome here with your reputation. I am pleased to finally meet you in person. I apologize, however, you likely came here without pur pur purpose, and I am keeping you from it. Did, did you have business with the Order, RPG Crawler? I intend to enlist the aid of the Order in battling a powerful vampire that is in the city. Uh, a vampire? Such a terrible creature truly exists here in Athkatla? I... I had no idea. You must tell the Prelate about this immediately. Despite your reputation, I am sure you would consider this creature an evil that the Order must battle. Come, follow me. Yeah. Look, guys, I, I'm sorry that you had to scrub all the blood off the floors. A uh, nice choice of red. That makes it that much that much easier to deal with. You are going like honestly, that was that was my bad. Very well. I welcome you with outstretched hand. I am Sir Mardis, guardian of Torm. Take your carcass out of my sight, Falwon. By Torm's hand shall your ilk be taken from the earth. Yeah, where's where's the guy that I'm supposed to be talking yes. to? The prelate. Yeah, he's back here, right? In the area I couldn't get to before. What would you have me do? Yeah, I, I, I'm I honestly quite hand. sorry. Perhaps if RPG Crawler is with you, I might speak with him. Yeah, I suppose. On my own. Yeah, here we go. I welcome you with all five charisma hand. of me. RPG Crawler, I greet a slithering viper with the promise of justice by my blade. Give me one good reason why you should not be cut down where you stand. Because my enemy is a powerful vampire in Athcatla, and I offer you the privilege of joining me when I destroy her. Bah, we know this vampire. Our sources say you defeated her in her guild for the Shadow Thieves. Why lie to us now? What are you up to, RPG Crawler? I'm not lying. I destroyed her guild, but not her, and now she has recovered and returned with a more powerful force. I cannot de defeat her alone. Then why do you not go to your allies in the Shadow Thieves for aid? Why do you come to us, who you possess barely a modicum of honor? I've gone to the Shadow Thieves. I need your help as well. Bodhi and her vampires are enemies of us all. The Order is sought to deal with these creatures, but our chances are greater fighting alongside you. However, you are not to be trusted. I, have, I will have your word that you are striving to destroy this creature, and that my men will not be abandoned at your slightest whim. Will you give it? Yes, you have my word. Then the order shall join you in this fighting. Be uh, fight. Beware, however, at the slightest sign of treachery, you shall suffer the order's vengeance. When you go to the graveyard to face the creature, I shall send a group led by Sir William uh, Ryrick to fight at your side. They will meet you in the catacombs. In Torm's name, I pray that there is enough to defeat this evil once and for all. Go with my blessing, RPG Crawler. I have preparations that must be made. So the only thing I got left is to check to see if I, I can't scrounge I anything from one of the temples. This. So I will... Uh, check the temples and I will see you when I get to one or at the end if I've talked to both and nobody wants in. Alright, so I guess we're not going to have any temple help and fuck that side quest. You got anything from Dawn Master Creel? I welcome you with outstretched hand. Um, I do not. Okay. So I you guess I'm should have a look on temple help. I think I've got everybody I've got. Um, I... If, if there's anything I missed, let me know in the comments below, but chances are good I'll probably already record the next episode before I get to them. But, hey, it'll help other people in the future. Next time, we're going to go ahead and fight Bodhi in the graveyard. For now, this has been the RPG Crawler with Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition. If you like what you've seen, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more RPG content. Until next time, take care and goodbye.